Hello, fellow TV lovers. I'm Matthew, and this is The Worst, a show where we dissect TV shows old and new through the lens of their very worst characters. Because it's not mean if the person we're tearing to shreds is a fictional character, right? Anywho, this week we are discussing everybody's least favorite city-dwelling sex columnist, Carrie Bradshaw. Since we're talking about sex in the city, it's only right for me to be drinking a Cosmopolitan. Unless you're living under a rock, you know the gist of sex in the city. Given that I have rewatched the entire series, the movies, and now the reboot, I have officially come to the conclusion that Carrie Bradshaw is the worst. She is not a good friend. She's not. For a story centered around a group of girlfriends, Carrie Bradshaw did not understand the assignment. Bad news, I don't think I'm gonna make it. You can't come, are you okay? No, I'm fine, I'm just, you know, I'm just all the way downtown with the Russian and it's very cold out. Well, yes, we can all be a little self-centered and judgmental at times. Carrie has a Kanye West at an awards show knack of making every situation about herself. But she always expects her friends to show up for her when she has the tiniest problem. Remember when Miranda slipped a disc in her back and Carrie sent Aiden to check on her because Carrie couldn't be bothered? It's bad enough you send your boyfriend to help me when I call you, but now the bullshit bagels. If I slipped a disc in my back and my friend sent their boyfriend to check on me because they couldn't be bothered, I'm sorry, like uh, you're jail. Jail. Or in season five and Miranda was suffering from postnatal depression and Carrie wouldn't stop talking about the look that Aiden's ex gave her in the bathroom. Real problem, bull problem. If I was suffering from any type of depression and I was going through something personally in my life and my best friend was only talking about the nasty look that their current boyfriend's ex gave them in the bathroom, reevaluate. Reevaluate that friendship because I'm not dealing with it. I'm not doing it. Or in season six when Charlotte got engaged to Harry, Carrie let Charlotte have her moment for two seconds before changing the subject about how Berger broke up with her on a post-it note. Which that's pretty f***ed up that he broke up with her on a post-it note, but like your best friend got engaged and you got broken up with on a post-it note. Which one's more important? The engagement. It's more important because that's a celebration and you can forget about this post-it note thing because if someone broke up with you on a post-it note, it was not gonna last anyway, so get over it. If you've ever had a friend that has done something Carrie Bradshaw asked to you, please comment it below and Tell me the entire story because I'm dying to read it. I mean, Carrie's an awful friend. She's just the worst. Carrie Bradshaw is a bad girlfriend. Poor Aiden truly got Carrie at her worst. Please just shut up. I am so sick of hearing you talking, talking, talking all the time. Don't you ever just shut up? She never compromised. She always lost her temper with him and she never wore the ring he proposed to her with. Carrie cheated on Aiden with Big when they were in a relationship. You broke my heart! But instead of feeling bad for breaking Aiden's heart, she felt sorry for herself for having to bear the guilt of cheating and forced him to forgive her. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. The worst. Now let's talk Carrie and Big. Now, were these two as toxic as each other? Yes. Would I marry a man who's played mind games with me for almost a decade? Um, probably yes, because I'm an idiot. Is Carrie low-key responsible for her husband pelotoning himself to an untimely death? Also yes. Many things can be true at once. And what's also true is after years of back and forth finally ending up together, Carrie cheated on Big with Aiden in Abu Dhabi during the second Sex in the City movie. So she's not a good girlfriend. And therefore that makes Carrie Bradshaw the worst. Carrie is self-centered. Carrie's always pretending like she's the main character when she's walking down the street. Very obvious she is the main character, but when she's walking down the street, she is like the lead of her own movie and she's always like, Like, no, but we've all seen people like that sauntering down the street in the reboot when she's got that big old tutu thing on and she goes to the deli to get coffee. And then the guy's like, I haven't seen you in a long time. And she was like, oh yeah, like my husband died. <laughs> Great, what an icebreaker. Can you imagine walking down the street like that? I don't do that. I'm trying to avoid people spitting on me because that happens in New York City. Not walking down the street in a tutu, pretending like I'm the main character, it doesn't happen. The worst. Overall though, I love Sex in the City. Season one was the worst because it was so different and it had a different like path. Seasons two through six were amazing. 
they found their stride. First movie was excellent, a little long. Second movie sucked. The only good part about it was Samantha and her breaking Birkin. But of course I love the show and I, I was happy that it got rebooted. The reboot was cringeworthy at best, but it was really comforting to have Sarah Jessica Parker's voice narrating the show. I think it's definitely like a comfort to a lot of people. That's why it's a lot of people's comfort show and people rewatch it every time it's playing on E, every time it's playing on the TV, but Carrie Bradshaw is still the worst. My overall rating of the entire franchise is an eight out of 10 for the sole reason of Miranda driving me crazy back in the day and Carrie Bradshaw driving me nuts now. No one thought that Carrie Bradshaw was the worst back in the day, but then we rewatch it and we realize, wait, she's actually incredibly selfish, the worst person in a relationship ever. She cheated on both of her significant others and she's a terrible friend. On a scale of hints of jerk to the absolute worst, Carrie falls here, she's blacklisted from brunch because she's not the absolute worst, but she's, she's on that side of the fence. You know, she's definitely not, she's not the best. Samantha is. Thank you for watching The Worst. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn your notifications on, but Carrie Bradshaw doesn't turn her notifications on because she's the worst.